flat bags is the updated big moves action planner. Okay, hey y'all, hey. It has been a minute since the last time we talked. I feel like it's been a few weeks. Uh, we have officially moved. I just wanted to give you a quick look at my new office. It's a little bit smaller, but I'm okay with that. I don't need a ton of room to make my dreams come true. So um, I am still just kind of in the midst of unpacking and getting things squared away. Um, I had to look high and low in this house for just some of my old pictures and paintings and books. So I need to go to Target or Meyer or somewhere to um, get some nails and command strips and all of that jazz. So today is gonna be the beginning of a little vloggy vlog. Sometimes that's the easiest way to start um, is just to pick up the camera and just start vlogging. Right now, I am watching the little ones sleep on my phone. I don't know if you can see that. I'm just watching like the little security cam. Um, we started going to like daycare on Fridays and it's just like a little hour class that he and I go together so that he can ease his way, not even into daycare, like I'm still doing the stay at home mom thing, but just more so that he could play with other kids and socialize, like I signed him up for swimming, just like keeping him active and busy. He is no longer the little wee baby that you could just lay in the corner, baby boy be wanting to be entertained. So I just signed him up for a bunch of just extracurriculars and things that we could do together, like the swim lessons are for he and I or dad can jump in, Will can jump in if he wants to. Um, so, you know, fun things. Yesterday, I noticed my baby's ad was a little bit swollen. So we went to the doctor and as the day progressed, it kept swelling. And the doctor's like, I don't know if that's allergies because he gets allergies when the seasons change. Just finally warm outside. Like, you ain't got to wear a jacket outside. Although, I'm a black mom. His little butt been wearing a jacket. And so have I. Um... So the seasons changed. At first it broke out in a rash and his eyes blossomed and it was like, okay, what's going on? Today it is so swollen and just oozing drainage. We'll keep it PG. So I'm just waiting on them to call me back because I think they gave me the wrong instructions and wrong medicine. What I think is happening is him having pink eye and I was talking to my bestie and she was like, do you think it's from the daycare? I was like, girl, he don't, he don't go to the gym daycare no more. Like I was thinking she was talking about that and she was like, no, the class y'all went to and I was like, oh my gosh, none of the kids look like they were sick, but sometimes you can't tell. You know what I mean? Like things might have been percolating or incubating so while he's sleeping I'm going to grab my handy dandy iPad and do some planning I have been so far behind on my goals on launching on everything just because we moved and unfortunately like as much as I try to be a multitasker I'm not good at it like I can't have life falling apart around me and then still show up for my goals sometimes I can but in this instance where, you know, we had to pack up a whole house, sell a whole house, move to a whole house with a baby and so with Kennedy and it was just a lot. So now that the sun is out and it was really gloomy, the sun is out. I feel super motivated to get back on track and get reconnected with my goals. So I figured we could just spend a couple minutes planning together and then just see where the next few days lead us. I know today the sample is coming in for the physical planner from FedEx. So I'm just been, you know, stalking the windows looking for that. Um, I can show you guys the new digital cover, which I'm super excited about as well. I have to flip you around, so hold on. Okay, so this is the new Big Goals Action Plan 12 Week Planner 2024 Spring Collection. As you can see, it has like a pop of color for the spring, you know, groundbreaking new tab colors. But that's not all, folks. I also added um, a new um, index page section. This is will help you, you know, get to where you need to go inside the planner. Y'all, I got a whole testimony about this. Kobe's waking up. Remind me to tell y'all about the growth that got to this planner index. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So this is the old planner. Ain't nothing wrong with this planner. This was a perfectly fine planner. This was the fall um, launch, which I really, really enjoyed. But let me just show you the planner index. Nothing special here, right? Just like when you clicked on something and went to it, the end, right? Um, nothing magical. It's just like 
a bunch of words and hyperlinks, right? But when you look at what I came up with this time, and mind you, it's not perfect, right? I'm still learning. I'm not a designer. I'm self-taught and, you know, learning how to use InDesign and all that jazz. It looks, you know, a little bit more pulled together, more professional and all that jazz. Here's the message. Don't ever wait until perfect. Sometimes you won't get better until you launch the okay. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing horrible. Let me flip you around while I preach y'all. It's nothing horrible about that first design. It was just my beginning design. And I was really self-conscious about that because the rest of the planner looked super sleek and refined for me. But again, I'm not a graphic designer. I'm just learning in design. Um, and I was so scared to experiment with color and things of that nature, but I still launched and put it out there into the universe. And I got sales, right? I got a nice amount of sales from it. And the message is like, don't despise small beginnings, right? The first few videos you post or planners you make, they might look cringe, but you have to keep going in order to perfect things, in order to get the confidence to even experiment, y'all. And I'm so proud of that new planner index. That's so basic. It's like, it's just a couple squares and just a couple hyperlinks. And you're right, it is. But it's something that I conceptualized myself and got it together. It took a lot of work, took a lot of, you know, trial and error and tears, but I did it. And I just wanted to show you the before and after after. And I can't wait to show you the next launch and the next launch of how it improves. So be gentle with yourself. Give yourself grace. Release the thing that just looks kind of okay. It's okay, right? People will still gravitate towards it. I have raving fans over that planner, even though to me it's just like, I hope they like it. And they did. I like it. I use it all the time. But I was able to elevate and upgrade and try new things. So let that be a little nugget for today. Okay, y'all, let's go downstairs. I really need to utilize this hour the best way I can. Okay, let's go. <laughs> situated with Kobe uh, we got him the right medicine that he needs took some of that now he's getting sleepy because he had an earlier nap today just the whole schedule for the past couple days has been a little wonky so he's going down for a nap with dad they're both getting tired so I was like I'm about to sneak out and go get me some coffee go to Target I need some like command strips hand centers you know how you just need like random things I also would like to stop inside a Sephora or Ulta either one um i just need to pick up a few items i need some more laura mercier tinted moisturizer um i just need some new makeup stuff like i've had on this foundation just for a few hours right and it's already starting to slide off my face and it's my fault like i slapped this on just to look halfway alive and awake um so that's what we're about to do a little target run a little girly makeup run and then to go some somewhere and get some coffee i'm at this point where i kind of 
I be craving Dunkin' Donuts sometimes. Like, I just want some plain ass coffee. I don't want no latte. I don't want no lavender, nothing. I just want some coffee. So I think that's what we about to do. Come with me, y'all. Come with me. I'm so excited to see y'all. It's been a minute. Okay, y'all, I am back home, makeup sweating off and all that. I was gonna go to Ulta, Sephora, somebody, but y'all, that little trip at Target, it took, it took me out. The lines was long. It just was like, I'm ready to go home. I'm tired. I always, like, um, just downplay how tired I am or how much certain events take the wind out of me. Dealing with a sick baby. You know what, you just, be tossing and turning, uninterrupted sleep. So I'm just a little bit out of it. So I'm about to get in, lay shower, and just relax. We could do that shopping another day. Like I was gonna try this um, coffee shop that's local to this area. Just be outside. I came back home, a bitch is tired. So I'll check back in with you guys, if not tonight, cause nothing's happening tonight. We might go for a walk or let Kobe play outside. I will be back tomorrow tomorrow i love you tomorrow okay y'all it is a new day i think today is wednesday um happy new day yesterday when i was like i'm too tired to shop around baby i was tired so we watched a little bit of homeland we've been binging that girl just finished season two or three honey that oh girl it was so scandalous and juicy so we stayed up a little bit late but i still got some rest i just left walmart and Aldi. I feel like when you go shopping at Walmart and Aldi make two stops, that means you grown, grown. I used to be like, listen, all you got is one store out of me, then I'm going home. But, you know, sometimes the stuff on your grocery list warrants Aldi. Like, sometimes you just need a few little things, and then Walmart had the stuff that you can't get at what uh what's that place called all these so i did two grown woman things today i feel like that's very much you grown with kids status because i used to just be a one-stop shopper today i felt you know a little froggy so there's an Ulta and sephora in this little plaza so let's go get some i want some tinted moisturizer I pray to God I got a picture of what number I am. And I want some oil cleanser to get this makeup off. I've been wearing makeup a little bit. You know, there's this stat going around. It's like, it takes two years after you have your kiddos to start feeling like yourself again. And I've heard it and it was just like, oh, okay, whatever. I don't really take that stuff. It's something in my eye, if you can't tell. I don't really take that stuff to heart, but baby, Mr. Man is going to be two in a few months. And recently I've been like, I do want to get dressed. I do want to wear my makeup. I do want to let my hair down because I've been wearing ponytails since I met that man, since I had my child, because he pulls my hair. Um, I've been like flirting with the idea of getting my braids back. Like, I, it might be some truth to that. Just like, I'm feeling like, hey, I can, I can get dressed in the morning now and put on makeup. And for me, not to say I couldn't do it, but it was just like, I gotta focus. I gotta do this for my child. Late, now I'm learning, you can do for your child, but you also have to figure out how to do for you. Like the boys would be eight, bathed, fed, loved on. I would not have taken a shower or I wouldn't eat or just drinking coffee for the day. So I'm finally realigning and reconnecting with myself, this new version of me. And I'm liking it. I, I really am. So let's go 
do some girly things, finally, when I'm not tired. Okay, bye. <laughs> Okay, so I used to be such a Korean skincare girly, and one of the tried and true products I got was this Clean It Zero. Um, this stuff will melt any makeup you have, just clean off. But I don't remember if it has a Cerola in it. I gotta do some Googling and figure it out if this is the correct one. But this stuff, Clean It Zero, baby. It is the truth, honey. I love it. And it's 30% off. That's good to know. I was also looking at um, Elf's skin line from this uh, Holy Hydration. They have a lip cream um, that is really a good Laneige dupe. They don't have it right now, um, but sometimes Target has it. It's like an FYI. Um, that is a really good Laneige dupe. If you don't feel like spending $25 a pop, I think that's seven. I'll link it up here so you guys can see. I really like this one, but I kind of want to try a different scent. So I'm torn between pure lavender or aloe you or this little rose water situation. I think I'm going to go with aloe you because I don't want Kobe to have like a little reaction. So we're definitely getting this. I lied. I found it. Yay! absolutely does so I'm tempted to try something new especially because it's like 20 bucks cheaper than Laura Laura is 54 Rihanna is 35 I don't see a girly though to help me I need some help so we'll see uh maybe time to just try something new let's see okay so the Sephora girlies were busy which is fine so I just stuck with the Laura Mercier um because I ha also have sensitive skin it was like I didn't want to try it today um but I got what I came for and now we're about to go home get some lunch and just chillax y'all guess what I just did I just took off my jacket because it's hot outside baby and look at this watch this watch this I'm rolling down my window. Now, to most of y'all that live in Texas and Florida and where California, it's not a big deal. But just a few days ago, it was literally snowing. So, we are in arms out season, white toe season, ankles out calf season. And I'm about to act up, okay? But it just feels good to be a little hot and i'm not even a hot person i we've been talking about moving up out the midwest because it has been dark and dreary <laughs> and just a few days ago my mood was like in the pits the sun been out all of a few hours and it's like it's party time it's party. i'm humid again so yes child i i done got on the little tank top my brassiere is showing some light jeans you know like the the not the winter jeans that's hard and stiff you know the can you gotta you could put uh, what's the thing it's called? Long John's under baby. These is the easy breezy, beautiful cover girl, like the linen jeans. I am here for this weather. Let us pray that it stays for a minute. Okay, I'm about to go home. I'm not gonna drive in and vlog. I need one of those suction cup things so I could because I got a lot to say, but we just gonna get home safely. All right.
Ulta. When I got home, the boys were up. They was kicking it, playing. The doorbell rang, and lo and behold, it was FedEx with my sample. My sample for the spring collection version of the Big Goals Action Planner. If y'all are new here, I own a stationery company. It's called Sunday Jumpstart Paper Co. And I launched in November of 2023 and I just came out with a fall collection of planners, stickers, digital planners, and the like. Well, spring is here, quarter two is here, and I spent a chunk of time just designing like a spring cover and adding new um, assets to the plan or whatever. And it's here, y'all. I'm holding it in my hand. This is the updated Big Goals Action Planner. This is for the spring girlies. Let me try to fix this exposure to try to let the color give it some justice. Okay, there we go. And also, I can't tell if she's focused or not. So I'm just trying to play around. But this is it. This is the Big Goals Action Planner Spring Collection Cover. Now, um, you know, when you are an entrepreneur, you know, starting out with something, you're like, I need two or three products, five to ten products, whatever the case may be. And because I designed this by myself, I am a self-taught, I wouldn't even call myself a designer. I'm just learning Adobe InDesign, Tatiana, my planner coach, who is the owner of the Inspire Blueprint. She's been doing stationery for years. She has a class on making planners, so I'm just learning as I'm going, right? But I designed this by myself, this whole thing, inside and outside pages, and and I'm just so doggone proud of it. Um, this is just the sample. I made a mistake. I gave them the front cover twice. I <laughs> forgot to give them the back cover. But that's why you order a sample so that you don't, so that you can catch mistakes like that. Now, imagine if I didn't order the sample and I just went on ahead and ordered a bunch of these. Baby, we would have been sick. But anyway, um, it's okay for you to launch with one thing. Now, mind you, I'm launching this spring collection has a cup, a tote, this, I have some pins coming. Like it's a nice little collection of a few items, but I wanted to have like three different covers. But like I said, I'm designing it by myself. I'm not a graphic designer, not a graphic artist. I listen, baby, I'm doing the best I can with what I got. And it kind of irritated me because I kept trying to make fetch happen, like trying to come up with different covers, and it just wasn't happening. And then God was just like just come out with the one. And I was like, but I want to have. And it was just like, stop forcing things that aren't flowing. You know what I'm saying? And it was just taking too much time. This is already behind schedule between me, you and I. Like, I'm already behind just because, like I said, we moved. Like, it was just so many things going on in life. And instead of trying to wait for perfect, you know, waiting until I had another cover or, or, you know, someone could help me. It was just like, just launch with what you have. And each month, the idea behind my business is that each month there'll be a different drop. So it's like, there's still time in this year to do the things that you set out to do. So I just wanted to share that with any other entrepreneur that's like, I don't have a collection. I don't have a million pieces. I don't have... Baby, just use what you have, okay? Don't, don't feel like you gotta have a whole... Uh, shoot, Hudson's catalog, the whole, what was that? Y'all remember Finger Hut? My grandma used to get Finger Hut catalogs and we just sit there, look at all the products. Just, just use what you got for right now. If it's one book, one planner, one journal, one t-shirt, one pot, one pan, just, just start with that. So let me give y'all a brief little tour of the updates in this planner. Okay, so this is the Big Goals Action Planner front cover for 2024. Now, this is a 12-week planner where you could just plan for the quarter, plan for 12 weeks at a time. I've been planning like that for, I think, three or four years now after reading the 12-week year. And baby, I ain't never going back to annualized planning ever again. I get so much done when I just focus solely on 12 weeks at a time now um in the other planner we didn't have this this is a breakdown of how to use this planner this is talking about the principles of the 12 week year and how to use it how to keep in touch with us and all that jazz this is from my mom actually she bought the planner she was like now great how do i use it this isn't your typical planner this is actually for projects or launching stuff or businesses or youtube channels you know what i mean this isn't like 
oh, my meal plan for the day. This is like, hey, I have some really big goals and I need to get them done in 12 weeks. This will help you break it down into uh, actionable steps because a lot of times we have big goals, but we don't know where to start. This will help you do that. So um, this is what I call 24 questions. Um, this is also a new feature. I thought about it just like, OK, what if you don't know what you want to focus on for the 12 weeks? So I added some questions that will help, you know, just help you come up and brainstorm what you should focus on. So it's questions like what brings you joy? What makes you feel most energized? What fears are holding you back from pursuing your dreams? What hobbies or interests have you neglected that you like to revisit? Um, this one is a good one. Reflecting on moments of jealousy, who or what are you most envious of and why? How can these feelings serve as inspiration for your next steps forward towards personal fulfillment? So this is here for you to, to just get you motivated, get you thinking of like, what are my goals? What are my values? What do I want to focus on, right? So that's that. And then after here, we have some a quote from Erica Badu. Um, this is just a space for you after you've done all that to brain dump or perhaps write some of those answers down. This is my top three. These are the three goals you're going to focus on for the next 12 weeks. Here is an action plan, an accountability plan for each goal. So here for goal number one, you list it out. You talk about why it's so important for you to accomplish your major tasks, deadlines, and when you completed it. But what's nice is that you're also, there's also an accountability plan. So how are you going to show up on low energy days, mid energy days, and high energy days? Like, how are you going to focus on this goal when you don't feel like it, when you feel blah, and when you are over the moon? You can write out a plan for that. You can also share who your accountabilities are, partners are, when you're going to have check-ins and what you're going to discuss. There's also room to talk about how you're going to celebrate your goal afterwards. So for 12 weeks, you just pick three focuses. So you got goal number one, goal number two, and goal number three. Each goal has their own action and accountability plan. New for the monthly spreads. This is undated, by the way, so you don't have to stay married to anything. I added um, important dates, things you're looking forward to, and a list of things to do for the month. So that's new. We got your brain dump, vision board, your weekly focus, weekly agendas, and then just your daily sheets, right? At the end of each day, you get different reflection questions to ask you like, what was your intention for the day? What was your biggest distraction? How did you get back on track? What tasks aren't your fave to do? What can you delegate or outsource? Like this helps you just figure it all out. Then at the end of the week, you do a weekly review of what worked well, what needs improvement, what needs to stop, and what needs to start. Let me lighten y'all up a little bit. Um, another brain dump and vision board, and then you proceed for each week until you get to um, progress reports. After the month, after four weeks, you're given an opportunity to reflect on how things are going. What's for goal number one, what are your top three accomplishments when it came to this goal for the month? What challenges did you face? How did you overcome them? What are your next steps? This is new, this progress tracker. I added that for you to just take a highlighter or you know a colored pencil and shade in where you are in the grand scheme of things, right? Any aha moments after looking at your progress report where you're like, oh girl, you know, me being on my phone held me back. I need to work on that. And then it starts with another quote and so on and so forth. And then at the end, after your 90 days, you're going to be given a course note section. I just realized that this doesn't have my graph paper. See, that's why you always order a sample. This is supposed to have graph paper and grid paper in the back. So I'll be sure to just figure out what was going on with that. But here's the 12 week assessment. What are your proudest moments? Biggest cheerleaders? How can you thank them? What's the biggest lesson you learned? Then down here, what do you want to focus on for the next 12 weeks? Yeah, you've done a lot. How will you rest and recharge? What habits, tools, or routines help you achieve your goals? So that's the book in a nutshell. I'm super proud of this. This is my second, actually, this is my third book. Um, the first launch came out with two different covers. This is the third, super duper proud of myself. So there's also a digital version um, that has some changes as well, but they're essentially the same difference, right? 
So that's the new girl on the block. That's super exciting for today. I'm just kind of floored. Like we are still chucking ahead, even though there were delays and things I didn't see coming. I still was like, we gonna do it. Even if it's late, even if it's not exactly perfect, let's still launch. So what's up next? Um, I'm tired. I kind of want to relax. I've been doing a lot the past couple days. Um, I think I'm about to hang out with the boys, maybe start dinner. Before we go, um, I showed you what I got at Sephora and Ulta, right? We did that little trip, but I also wanted to show you the e.l.f. Um, what is this called? Holy Hydration Lip Mask. If you ladies like watch, using Laneige, Laneige, or something, and this is sad because I took French for like six years. I know how to read it, better not speak it. But anyway, this is Holy Hydration Lip Mask. If you're a Laneige girly, but you don't want to spend 25 bucks. Like me, I love Laneige. However, I want like seven of them. One for my office, one for my nightstand, one for the purse. I'm not about to spend $150 on a lip gloss. This is a really, really good dupe. It is giving hydration, silky, satin, moist. My lips have been dry just because I've been drinking more coffee than water. Gotta do better. This is an amazing dupe for $7. So try it out. It's to me, for my preference, it's not too tacky. Mom, I got a little bit of it on now. Yeah, she's that girl. I like her a lot. She's my lady. So I just wanted to share that with you because I thought Ulta would have it, but she don't. But this is at Target for sure. You might have to order it online. But sometimes she's in the store, sometimes she's not. I did go ahead with the Laura Mercier. I am a FW110 tinted moisturizer. I like this just because it's something light on my face. Like I said, I have acne, scars, hyperpigmentation redness it's all starting to fade and i don't necessarily always want to wear makeup that's heavy but i still want a little bit of coverage especially for filming sometimes i'll be brave they can come on camera all raggedy other times i'll be like i need some makeup so that'll be just something to throw on so i got that and then again that clean at zero this is just a oil balm cleansing balm that when you have on makeup that's stubborn and doesn't want to come off you just wipe this it has like a melting buttery kind of consistency wipe it on there massage it in wash it off wipe it off and then wash your face like you regularly would i used to be a korean skincare girly and i changed once i got pregnant because then i got super bad hormonal acne and i used to shop a lot on soko glam and that's a lot of experimentation even though they have people that you could you know send your pictures to and they'll do like a free consultation nothing combat seeing your dermatologist or your esthetician i was going to kenya she's um unfading beauty over on instagram she's a black esthetician beautiful woman i love me some kenya but she was getting me together while i was pregnant so i kind of stepped back from k beauty and she has me on this system called face reality and it's worked wonders on my skin but out of all the k beauty stuff even if i you know stop for a little bit while i still use my clean at zero so if you have stubborn makeup or you just like to double cleanse baby try this girly the one in the pink i can't talk about the green and the yellow and the other ones but this one baby chef's kiss okay guys um i guess i'll feel for, for a couple more days see how it goes it's so funny when you take a break from youtube you kind of feel awkward like what do i talk about what do i do but i know a lot of that is that self-doubt Cause I'll get in my head like, well, I already talked about that. I already did. And it's just like people, I don't know that you talked about something 50 times. I just really, when I watch a YouTuber, even if they talk about playing with me this week, wash my clothes with me, scrub the toilet with me, unpack my travel bag. I be all in like, because I just like the person. So, you know, I was talking to April. April, if you hear, hey girl. Um, she was just kind of talking about the redundancy of content creation and getting in your head about it. And I'm feeling the same way too. So I'm speaking to the choir. Who cares? You know what I'm saying? Like if you think about the Oprah's and Beyonce's, we could count on Beyonce to talk about love. That's the umbrella. Under that umbrella might be loss, heartbreak, 
um, self-love, self-empowerment, feeling, you know, just approving of yourself because you might have made a mistake. It's all under love. Oprah is going to talk about mindset. It might be manifestation, the law of attraction, whatever the case may be. So if you're a content creator, a creative, an artist, and you're like, well, I always make this art. So what? It's still healing somebody. It's still impacting somebody. It's still encouraging somebody. So still show up and you won't be able to grow into other forms of content or kind, you know, artistry until you dibble dabble with what you got now. Then you'll be like, oh, I kind of want to pivot and do something else. So it's okay if you have an umbrella that feels like you're doing the same thing like April she used to be like a reaction table channel to gossip and she kind of switched to weight loss and she was like, I don't want to show people me being on a treadmill every day. I said, girl, those are the girls I be watching, the girls that be on the treadmill every, every time they on a video, the girls that package an order with me, the girls that's like so, I watched this girl who literally makes hand hair ties, that's it, scrunchies. And she make hella money doing it, but she'll be like, so scrunchies with me. I be stupid, like, let's go. It's calming to me, um, but I was just telling April like, okay, well, if you get tired of doing a treadmill, I'm not tired of it. But if you are, you could do, you know, how I wear to, to my hair to the gym, how I don't sweat out my hair, what outfits do I wear to the gym, what I eat in a day, da -da -da. but it's still under that umbrella. So I'm preaching to you because I'm preaching to me because I feel the same way. Like I'm just a stay at home mom that has a stationary business and I'm going to take my kid to the park and the library and I might go shopping, I might do my hair, I might not, I might... Who cares? God told me to get behind the camera, get in front of it. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just sharing that with you all. Okay, that was a whole little sermon. I wasn't trying to stay all day. Um, but here we are. Let me show y'all the office real quick before we go. There has been some progress. I kind of switched the room around. This couch was on this wall, but I wasn't feeling that for some reason. My mommy made that me that Mickey Mouse when I was little and she brought it to Chicago. So I could hang it in Kobe's room. So I need to do that. And then I put my desk over here. Still no art on the wall. This is my closet. Um, this space is a little bit smaller than my old office, but the closet is big enough. Excuse Elmo. My baby be in here with me. This is big enough where I feel like I, you know, so far I have all my packaging and products up here where I can have a table. Y'all feel me right here and I can be packaging orders. Like make this a this so that's the idea here like I already have I don't know if you can see it my table that has like my um, water activated tape it's gonna be here I have my none of it's plugged up but the office is slowly but surely coming together all of my art and stuff is just hiding in different corners until I just get it together laundry in the corner I figure I can use that as storage and as an actual packing space so that's what we're going to do. Um, I got to hang this stuff up as well. Um, oh, y'all, before we go, before we go, I know I said I was leaving. Let's see. Okay, and before we go, um, we were <laughs> in one of our favorite neighborhoods a couple weeks, a couple days ago. What am I going to say? I'm talking about weeks with um, the little one. I did a little library book haul i did not mean to but i've really been back in my reading bag from march i read yellow face girl girl please if you want like a juicy drama about being jealous of your best friend and climbing the the corporate ladder of the book world because they're authors and what you'll do when you get an opportunity to possibly stab your best friend in the back, baby. Yellow face. It's about racism and stereotypes and what it's like to be in a publishing world and what it's like to see your friend succeed when you have the same talent. And it deals with jealousy straight up. It deals with tic, uh, TikTok, book talk, and just the scandals that go on there and just what this young lady decides to do when she gets an opportunity to one up her friend. So Yellow Face was good. I also read The Guest List by Lucy Foley, which was a good little murder mystery set in Ireland. That is a horrible accent, but there we go. Baby, that was fun. So I was like, you know, showing Kobe like his little books and checking out books for him. And I said, let me go upstairs. So we all went upstairs. And so I got, boop, this could be us. Yeah, 
Why when I said it, it didn't sound right? It didn't feel right, but that's it. This could be us. I just started this. I'm on page like 35. It's giving juicy. It's giving tea. It's giving... I don't want to spoil it, but it's giving like the makings of an affair going on possibly and just love lost and rekindling that feeling and feeling yourself again. So this is by Kennedy Ryan if you're looking for a good romance. So far this has caught my attention. Sometimes romance kind of takes me a minute, but this one's pretty good. I also got another Lucy Foley book. This is... Uh, the Paris Apartment. I started listening to this on Spotify, but got super distracted. But I was intrigued, so I'm like, this will be fun read. And then I got Come and Get It by Kylie Reed. I really enjoy it. Such a fun age, her debut novel. And this is kind of the same vibe, just like a coming of age girl and college black girl. She's the RA. I used to be a RA. And just the drama around that. So I'm here for these three books and I was literally in there about to lose my mind but I was like just you can't read three books this month. I did two last month which was really good um, but three might be pushing it. I will let y'all in on a secret. I will I always have the physical book but let's say it's like oh snap I'm about to cook and it's about to take an hour. I go on Spotify and listen to the audiobooks because they have a lot of these on there. And then when I come back to you know it's time to lay down I might pick it up and read 10 minutes. So I do I always do audio and physical versions because I can't always get an ebook. Like I have a scribed membership. Um I buy it off of apple books like sometimes it's just like whatever is nearest to me that's how i'll read it so i'll listen to it ebook it libby i use the library app obviously and get the ebook the only thing with libby is sometimes it takes a minute for it to be your turn to check out the ebook but y'all i'm back to reading i kind of stopped um just life or you know what i was reading i am a spiritual reader like self-help girly so i have to like remember like hey there is healing and entertainment and just fiction non-fiction girl i always forget which one is which there's there's fun things to be read in the make-believe one and this is bad because i used to work at a bookstore it's all non-fiction means not fake whatever uh don't be mad at me but yeah, that's what I got at the library. Okay, I've done enough talking. I've done like 20 minutes worth of talking. You can tell I used to have a podcast. Um, I'm about to go hang out and relax. And I'll see you tomorrow, the next day. Bye. Okay, y'all. So in my hands, I am holding a Glamaholic lifestyle bag. Y'all, this is a funny story behind this purse. So when me and Ray dropped, you know, the visuals for the Pebble collection, I was like, yes, I got to get my hands on this. And so me and my sister was going back and forth like, okay, what color do you want? What are we going to get? Do we walk the band? And so the day of the launch was, I think we were moving. We was doing something. So I couldn't get it that day. So um, me and my sister were still just trying to debate. She came out with so many cute colorways that it was like, do I want navy? Do I want olive? Do I want cream? And just like that got busy, I just didn't get a chance to order it. So my sister asked me again, like, what color did you think about? What should we get? What the bam? I told her a few days ago, and sure enough, she called me this morning, was just like, something's getting delivered to the house. And I was like, what is it, girl? We, we cannot keep secrets whatsoever. And she was like, I got you the bag. And when I say I started crying so hard, it is so good to feel loved on and just thought of and surprised like that. So it just really, really touched me because I was really hemming and hawing about this bag. Like, what colors do I want? Who at the bam? So this is from my lovely sister, Erin. Thank you, Erin. And it just means a lot to me to get Glamaholic products. Me and Mia went to school together. We went to Cass Tech in Detroit, went to high school. And she's just always been an inspiration to me since the day she started her blog, like way back in the day. Like, I we used to talk about all kind of stuff, like with my little blog and hers and being on Tumblr and all that stuff. So it's nice to see the growth. Um, I haven't had a Glamaholic bag since like the first makeup bags and the first tote. So it's it's just so cool to see how far she's come. So it comes in this gorgeous duster, dust bag. Here we go. I'll show you what I was blessed with. I My sister got me the navy. Oh, that's so cute. 
the navy medium flat bag. I oh my gosh, I could, I was so torn between the brown and the cream. Look at that. It's so soft. Oh my goodness. I wasn't expecting that. So this is the medium Glamaholic Lifestyle Pebble Collection. Let's take off this part. You see that G, that, that doing it like a G, baby. Um, it's super duper soft. I was torn between this size and the big size because I'm a mother. You know, like I'm, you know, Kobe is still, we're at the point where we're still carrying around sippy cups and diapers. So I wanted something big enough to be able to throw my phone, my wallet, you know, my little coin purse or whatever. Um, it has a cute little tag. Go me a rag girl. So proud of you. Detroit girls do it better, baby. This is the inside. This uh, vegan leather is actually super duper soft. And the chain is right here. So that's the medium size. Lately, I've just been like, I want to get dressed up. I want to be cute. I'm tired of looking around this diaper bag. Like, my diaper bag, I had a Mina Bay diaper bag. And if you know, you know. It was like, super cute. I still have it. I don't know why I said it was. But um, I had a fit for that bag. And it's, it's just a nice, I got kids bag. You know, a diaper, kind of weekend there. And I was just like, I don't think I need to love this around anymore. You know, with your first kid, you take everything with you because you just don't know what you need or what you don't. Now I feel like, okay, I'm at the point. I can have my phone in here, I can have my wallet, a couple diapers, a pacifier, and we can go on about our day. And I can still, you know, have him carry his little stuff. But look at me, look at my baby clown with full like big, baby, what a do, baby. I'm so excited about this. And it has a little pouch right here, so I cannot wait to wear this out and about. I just did like a little H&M shopping spree or whatever. It's a lot of stripes and neutrals and jeans and denim. So this will go so well with this. And then what else comes with this? Um, got our little car. Oh, that's so nice. Miss Mia, me Z. The luxury products, yes. Just has her stuff, it's so cute. So proud of her. I just love her story so much and I love get put my black ass dollars back in the black ass community. You know what I'm saying? So me and my family were big about that. So I just wanted to unbox my Glamaholic medium <laughs> flat bag for y'all. All right, so what am I about to do now? Still in the middle of packing. We just got back um, from eating. I think actually we're about to sit down and just watch Homeland. We are on season three of Homeland. If you haven't seen that yet, get into it, okay? It's so scandalously good. And I've been meaning to watch that for years. Will's already seen it. He was like, yeah, let's sit down and watch it. It was like, I'm there. So I think we're about to do that. But thank you for my unboxing of my brother Holly. It's so cute. Oh, I love it. I think I'm still gonna get a bigger size in a different color and a car holder. <laughs> Editing Jessica here, just sitting here um, putting the finishing touches on this week's vlog. I never remember to record an ending, so thank y'all so much for tuning in to today's weekly vlog. I am trying my hardest to be committed to being consistent. Um, thank y'all for rocking with me and just being patient as I try to find my footing in motherhood and content creation and business. I really appreciate y'all for checking me on when I go missing. Um, I love it here. I love the support and I just pray that God pours back into you the way that you guys pour into me. May this week be prosperous and just filled with blessings and peace 
and all the things that make you happy. I'm praying for you. If you want to keep in touch, be sure to follow along on Instagram and TikTok. The handle is at the Sunday Jumpstart. It's a lot to say. Um, if you want to check out the new planners, they haven't launched quite yet, but you can just go to the website. Um, it's sundayjumpstartpaper.com. And if you want to listen to old podcast episodes, you can go to the Sunday Jumpstart over on Apple Podcasts and Spotify and all that jazz. It'll all be linked below. Hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.